What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be talking more about Android optimization by demonstrating how to use, edit, and organize quick settings and how to access phone settings. Now, quick settings are shortcuts to accomplishing basic tasks on your Android device quickly. Now, when we say Android devices, quick settings can be used, edited, and organized on both Android tablets and Android smartphones. Now, optimizing quick settings is important because it allows you to enable or disable the settings that you use most. For example, one of my favorite quick settings is Do Not Disturb or DND as I call it. And you can see that I have it prioritized in my quick settings. If you're looking to focus and improve your productivity, DND is a must have quick setting. When DND is enabled, it blocks notification from apps, messages, and phone. DND is also customizable, which means that we can configure what notifications are shown and how long DND itself runs. Now we'll be talking more about DND in a future video as a way to improve your focus and boost your productivity. Now for reference, I'm using the Pixel 5 running Android 11 with the Nova Launcher installed, which you can watch a tutorial on by clicking the link in the corner of this video. Now, depending on your Android device, Android version, or launcher, what you see in this tutorial may vary for you. For example, the pencil icon that you tap on to edit your quick settings may be in a slightly different location for your device compared to mine. That being said, the goal is to produce more videos like this to increase coverage of Google hardware and software. As always, I only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. This means the content is not sponsored, so if you could like, share, or subscribe, that would be a free way to support us. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are on the main screen of my Pixel 5. If we swipe down from the top of the screen, this shows our first few quick settings in a dark panel. Ideally, you wanna have these first settings filled with the settings that you use most for quick access. If we swipe down one more time, the appearance of this panel changes depending on whether you're in landscape or portrait mode. And you can see we also have a few more settings. Now, if we swipe to the left on this panel, it shows our next page of quick settings. We can also go back to the previous page by swiping to the right. On the bottom right hand corner of this panel is a gear icon and if we tap on that it's going to bring us to our phone settings. Now as you can see this closes the quick settings panel and it actually opens the phone settings so if we want to go back to our quick settings we'll do the same thing we'll swipe down twice here. Now if we want to actually go ahead and edit these quick settings we have the pencil icon in the bottom left hand corner and if we tap on that it's going to allow us to go into editing mode. Now we can rearrange each icon individually by pressing and holding on it and drag into the position that we would like it to be in and then releasing it. And this automatically saves it in that position. Now I'm actually going to take this one and drag it back to where it was because this is the optimal position for me. Again, the important thing here is to have the first quick settings be the quick settings that you use the most so you can quickly enable and disable them. Now if we swipe down here, you can see we have a lighter gray panel and that's going to be our available quick settings. Now if we want to remove a quick setting that we already have enabled, we can just tap and hold on it and drag it into the available settings and release it. And if we want to enable a quick setting that is not enabled, we'll just look for it here and then we'll press and hold on it and then we'll drag it towards the top here. Now you can see things kind of move a little quickly here. So it's going to take a little bit of patience and precision and then we're going to release it and that's going to enable it. Again, this configuration is automatically saved. Now we can exit editing mode by tapping on the back arrow in the top left hand corner. Now, once you have your quick settings actually enabled, you can actually enable or disable them simply by tapping on them. So for example, you can see we have Bluetooth here. It's actually turned off because it's not highlighted blue, but if I wanted to enable it, simply tap on it and that's going to turn it to blue. That means that it's enabled. And you can see this is why things work really quickly here with quick settings. We can just simply tap on something and it's either enabled or disabled. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. 
If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking on the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.